What would be other things you would say um, when dealing with an ASME, uh, let's say beta or number three, or maybe any standard, um, applied in, in Europe, so having to comply with uh, the pressure equipment dir directive, what would you say are other, let's say, items or, or things that, that you would highlight as something to be aware of? Well, no, there are a lot of things. I'm a, I'm a pipe stressor personally, so I'm coming from that field, and I'm only, I'm mostly worried about the procedure, how I'm going to calculate things, what are the, the, the requirements in terms of material levels and these kind of things that we just discussed, you know. One additional issue, for example, that may be uh, presented is the impact test energy requirement, which is quite clear within the PD of 27 Joule. All right, help me out there. The impact test requirement, so that is um, brittle fracture, if I'm yeah. not mistaken? Which yeah, that, 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 that's exactly it. So, so the PED requires 27 Joule impact test energy, so once you do the impact testing at certain temperature, okay. the measured energy to be 27 Joule, right? And due to the, the differences, and this is also outlined in the document I mentioned a bit, a bit before, is that due to the impurities that may exist in ASTM specifications, right. especially higher phosphor and sulfur content, we may not be able to reach the impact oh, test requirement, the 27. So, but it's not said, you know, sometimes you reach it, sometimes you don't.